explosion do it? Or is the dimensional gate closing? All I know is if the dimensional gate is closed, then we'll never get back down to Earth. That's not true. I know we'll get back home. Optimus, tell her! Tell her we'll get back home! Of course we will, Bud. I'm just not sure how. No more Space Bridge? Then we're doomed! For the 15th time, how are we gonna get out of this one? Well, Kobe? Huh? Ha! I'm sure Red Alert has a great plan! Oh, I'm sorry, bud. <sighs> if we can't get back, the black hole will destroy everything and everyone. Hmm. Victor Prime, no! I know what you're thinking, but you can't! You just can't! That's enough! Bud is absolutely right! Yeah, well, I usually am. We've all been in worse scrapes than this. We don't need pity, we need solutions. Let's get started. We'll build our own bridge. Well, yeah, but how? Without the Omega Lock, it's hopeless. What do you mean, hopeless? Even if we could build a space bridge in time, I don't think there's any way we'd be able to power it. Even a whole dang starship doesn't have that much power. But three starships! Three starships just might work. Hotshot, red alert, I want you two to work on synchronizing the ship's reactors while the rest of us build that bridge. Really? A space bridge? And once we activate the bridge, then we can all go home? Well, Metroplex, do you think your crew is up to the task of building a space bridge? You're talking about the best crew in two universes! The best crew plus the best team. Us too. We'll help. Oh yeah. With everyone working together, we'll get it done in no time. <laughs> Good. You heard him, Red Alert. You better have those ships ready by the time we're finished. So it's a race then? Oh, it's on, little man. <laughs> We've all got a lot to do, so let's get down to business. Understand it, that other space bridge came from a generator back on Cybertron. Don't you mean Primus? Same thing. Anyway, that bridge was anchored to the Omega Lock, which is how it got through to our universe. So if we build another generator here, then hopefully it'll anchor there. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, this one's wired in. Get in there, you! Ah! Whew. How's that? Maximum power! She's still half covered in cement. But at least we've got power. Nope. Try switching one and three. So that's blue and yellow? Hmm. Whoa. Oh, man. Check it out, Lori. That's amazing. Look at the way it shines. Total perfection in both form and function. Jeez, why don't you marry it then? Now let's put our hard work to the test. Man your stations! Energy at 93%. 96% in climbing. Waveforms in sync, opening energon flow channels. Ah, oh, come on, the suspense is killing me. Right. Gigantian Space Bridge Generator, engage! Wait, something's not right. But it's forming a space bridge. Well, it's a bridge, all right, and there's a whole lot of something coming through it. They look like birds. Where'd they 
they come from? Planet X, it looks like Soundwave and Cyboids weren't the only ones to survive. They've gone feral. Yes, like wild animals. Joe, you get the kids to safety now. Right, Optimus. Straight. There must be hundreds of them. Scatter shot, shut down the bridge. I'm trying, but it's not responding. I'll handle this lot. Take this, you wee beasties. And how about another? We need to take care of this now. And if ever there was a situation that called for maximum firepower... This is it! If those creatures damage the Space Bridge Generator, then there goes our last shot at going home! Ordinarily, I'm not much for hunting, but I'm declaring open season on robot birds! They just keep coming! At this rate, they'll defeat us by attrition! Addition? Dude, what's with the map? Just keep shooting! Eat missile, birdies! <laughs> yeah, that'll show them. There's only one way to stop this foul attack. What's that? We must destroy the generator. That's our ticket out of here. It is our ticket to destruction. So's the space bridge generator. That's it then. It's over. Difficult as it was, you did the right thing, Victor Prime. A never-ending plague of those creatures would have laid waste to this planet, and I'm not willing to have the complete destruction of Metroplex's homeworld on our heads. But what went wrong? Hmm. Well, we could still rebuild and try it again. Aye, my crew is at the ready. Thank you, Metroplex. Scattershot? Well, based on what I'm seeing here, it wouldn't make any difference. Three ships just ain't enough power. I'm telling you, it just ain't enough. Slag, there's got to be some other way to get through. Hey, don't look at me, laddie. <sighs> Someone must know. Well, you're the experts. Huh? You make it through once, just do it again. Well, we would, but we can't. The warp tunnel closed behind us, Red Alert. And it won't open again for a year. There is no choice. Huh? That is the way we entered this universe, and that is the way we must leave it. But Vector Prime, we can't wait a year. By the time that tunnel reopens, guys, the black hole will Duh. be... Don't you guys get it? Vector Prime just waves his sword and bang! We go back in time to when the tunnel was open in the first place, right? Right. What? Jeez, dude, why didn't you say so earlier? We could be back before we left! So why did we have to build that wonky generator then? Because it's not that simple! Huh? Vector Prime, you have to tell them! You just have to! They have to know! You have to tell them why this plan is completely impossible! It is the only option left to us, Jolt. But it's not an option! And if you won't tell them why, then I will! Don't you see what you're asking him to do? To reverse time that much will cost him his life! It makes no difference. Our mission must succeed. No, that's not acceptable. We'll find another way. The black hole must be stopped, no matter what the cost. You've known that from the beginning, Optimus Prime. Not like this. Maybe, maybe we could get a message back. Evacuate the others to this universe. Impossible. It does not matter where we run. The black hole will eventually destroy everything. That's the bleak truth. So, Gigantian's fate is sealed as well, then. The fate of every world. 
As I traveled through the time stream into what you would call the future, I came upon an impassable barrier. Such things are not uncommon. All great events leave their mark upon the time stream. But as I peered through this barrier, I saw nothing beyond, only emptiness. And I recognized the black hole for what it truly was. The end of time. The end of time. But still, we can't just let you give up your life. We just can't. It's not fair. It's not right. Everyone here knows what we're fighting for. And every one of us has put his life on the line. But you can't ask me to stand by while you sacrifice yourselves. Every single thing in the cosmos has a fixed life. Galaxies. Planets. Humans. Transformers. I alone have lived beyond the reach of time, watching, ever vigilant, as the millennia march past. I have seen oceans rise, continents shift, and mountains crumble. I have seen brother rise against brother, and the desolation it leaves behind. And always the great cycle continues, new life rising from the ashes of destruction. Now, after eons of watching, at last I too have become part of the cycle. I began a new life with purpose and meaning. And though that life might end, I know now that I will never die. But then how could... Oh, please, Vector Prime, I don't understand. You, Jolt, you have traveled with me through the ages. That's true. Then you know I will live. Huh? You won't die? No, I will be watching you all from beyond the dark veil of time. Uh. <sighs> Come on, Jolt, tell us! What exactly does Vector Prime mean, Jolt? Well, Vector Prime has... has... Vector Prime has always lived outside of time. For that reason, Vector Prime will always exist as long as time itself exists. But we... we will never see him again. Is that right? <sighs> but I know he'll be there, watching over us. Really? You'll be watching over us? I once stood alone, the guardian of time. Then I met the Minicons, and I was no longer alone. Now I have many friends, both human and Transformer. I finally understand the true value of time, for it is the bonds between us that give time its meaning. But I still don't get this whole thing. Where will Vector Prime go? We won't be able to ever see him again, but he'll always be with us in our hearts, bud. Always? Yes. So it's okay? Lori, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Team, let's get the ships ready. Vector Prime, let me shake your hand. Very well. Congratulations, big guy. For what, bud? But isn't that what you're supposed to say when somebody gets a new job, isn't it? Why, yes, bud, I suppose you're right. Then congratulations. Thank you, bud. Whoa! And since I have a new job, I was hoping you would take care of this for me. 
You sure? That map is a very important treasure. I know you'll keep it safe. Yes, sir! I sure will! Kobe's gonna freak! <laughs> <laughs> ah, my dearest friends, the Minicons. Vector Prime! Join them, Safeguard, and look after each other. I shall always treasure our friendship. Vector Prime! We'll miss you so much! I know, Jolt. I shall miss you too. We're taking all three ships so we can transfer as much power as possible to your sword. Yes, Optimus, and that extra firepower may come in handy when you face Skelvitron, but the black hole must be your first priority. I understand. Autobot Commander Optimus Prime, it has been an honor working with you. The honor has been mine. out over nothing. Right, Kobe? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> hey, back to Prime! After eons of watching, I began a new life with purpose and meaning. And though that life now ends, I know that in the hearts of these friends I have made, I shall live forever. Farewell, bud. The future is my gift to you. Good luck, Vector Prime! <laughs> How come I'm crying? I don't... I don't need to cry. Everything's fine now, right? <laughs> Vector Prime! Uh... 
farewell, my friend. Set course for Cybertron! I finally understand the true value of time. For it is the bonds between us that give time its meaning. Wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Yes, yes, yes.